entitled Liberal Judge Strikes Down Trump's DACA Order Gets Wrecked by Sarah Sanders by Robert Rich Politics, U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. Yet again, America has been subjected to the partisan pettiness of a federal judge who doesn't like President Donald Trump. In fact, he proves just that by striking down Trump's plan to end the DACA program. But he wasn't laughing after he got wrecked by White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders just a few days later. Our country is still trying to dig its way out of the disaster created by the former administration's eight years of chaos with former President Barack Obama leaving our country in bad shape. Trump has uh, quite the hard task of cleaning up the mess and making things right again. With the stock market on the rise, job opportunities being added, and taxes now on their way down, it's safe to say that Trump has already started to iron out what Obama screwed up with regards to the economy. Next, it's time to focus on securing the border in his mission to make America great again. Not only has President Donald Trump made the border wall his main focus yet again, but He's unshackled the organizations that enforce immigration laws and has even stated that DACA will soon be a thing of the past. Of course, his main goal is to get the uh, do-nothing Democrats to be serious when it comes to talks about border security and put an end date on the discussion since all talk and no action gets us nowhere. In the end, the hopes are that stopping the DACA program will force Democrats to the table and ensure they work tirelessly on real immigration reform in order to keep their constituents happy. With many people praising the idea for a variety of reasons, the left is ticked off as usual. Democrats like Bernie Sanders are already using it as an excuse to blame Republicans for a potential government shutdown. I say shut it down. However, some have taken uh, to abusing their power, such as United States District Judge William Alsop out of California, who granted a pre-trial injunction barring the Trump administration from rescinding Obama's DACA program, according to the Gateway Pundit. Too bad for him, things were about to take a turn after he decided to let politics interfere with his professional decisions. As BizPack Review reports, it started out with the usual ribbing from President Donald Trump himself, who tweeted, It just shows everyone how broken and unfair our court system is when the opposing side is a case such as DACA, always runs to the Ninth Circuit and almost always wins before being reversed by higher courts. You see? However, things will only get worse when uh, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was asked about Judge uh, Alsup's decision. Frankly, to say that the judge got wrecked would be a bit of an understatement. We find this decision to be outrageous, especially in the light of the president's successful bipartisan meeting with House and Senate members of, at the White House on the same day. Sanders said in a Tuesday statement, an issue of this magnitude must go through the normal legislative process. President Trump is committed to the rule of law and will work with members of both parties to reach a permanent solution that corrects the unconstitutional actions taken by the last administration, source the Daily Caller. This, to this day, I don't understand why a single judge has the right to overrule the leader of the free world. Sadly, the fact that this, it's been happening so much by partisan liberal judges is downright a shame and it isn't what our justice system is supposed to look like. Making matters worse, these road bumps meant to do nothing more than slow President Trump down uh, all, uh, are all overturned when they reach higher courts. It 
would seem to me that if someone was abusing their power for the sake of being partisan, there should be some consequences when a higher court rules that they were wrong. Maybe we ought to start with the uh, that with the United States District Judge Williams Alsup in order to ensure that these idiots think twice before putting up a stink and it better be worth their career. They would think twice if that was the case. Absolutely. You know, they've infiltrated the system. That's what they have done. And they were and they're actually laughing. But it's going to be taken down. His, his decision is going to be taken down. But yes, if there were consequences for this judge when it's overturned, then he should face consequences for his decision that is unconstitutional, that goes against our constitutional rights in order to secure our borders and not let freeloaders in. Absolutely. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.